Do you smell that? It smells like Billie Jean King cup. <laughs> I'm smelling some Billie Jean King. In just their second season, the Washington Castles are Eastern Conference champions, but there is still work to be done. The Castles are just one victory away from their first World Team Tennis title, which they will try to earn a little later today at Castles Stadium. With more on how they got to this position, Michael Jenkins with Castles coach Murphy Jensen. Well, you said it. You can smell it. Yeah. You're this close to the championship. Well, we're a day away. In the last, you know, three, four matches, I have approached every match like it's the last match of the season. Um, it's really a dream come true for the Washington Castles. We started the year with the slogan, Refuse to Lose, and we were 0-4, and, and I was thinking, oh, my God, it's Refuse to Win. <laughs> and uh, Serena Williams comes in after winning the Wimbledon singles and doubles, and she just dominated. We ended up being 5-4, and four, and then we started struggling again. So we had the lows, the highs, the lows, and a lot of different, you know, uh, trades, and we had... You know, Nadia Petrova coming in to get us over the hump, and then we had a huge victory last night with Puchkova in her women's doubles that made all the difference, and we're sitting in a position to win the Billie Jean King Cup. How nice was it to get that victory over the sport times? Yeah. We all know what happened with those two teams going back at it about a week ago. Yeah. So how did you go from uh, that to beating them again to get to this championship? Well, we had to you know, erase it from our memory that John McEnroe you know, crossed the net and their coach verbally assaulted our players and that the crowd was going nuts and that we nearly had a riot on a tennis court. Right. Um, that's really easy to do. You know, just forget you know, about sure. the emotions and the rivalry. The truth is, we went out there when they arrived. We said, "Welcome back to D.C." And uh, our guys were just tougher, and we showed a lot more guts. And we've got, you know, with Renee, Serena. Serena didn't play, but with Renee, Serena, and Renee Stubbs, we got 35 Grand Slam titles on our team. So our team and our fans are going crazy. When you start the season 0 and 4, how did you get from there? To hear, which is one match away from it all. Well, it really comes down to great coaching. You know, and being the coach. <laughs> it's I, all right here. <laughs> I said here on Comcast before, you know, if we win, it's the coach. If we lose, it's the players. <laughs> That's now, a good I'm not way to taking responsibility it. for nah. losing all those matches. I'm not serving the ball on the court. <laughs> and it's professional tennis. You know, show me the money. Show me the first serve. Bring home some aces. You get the lasers on Sunday. What do you expect from those guys? Well, they're unbelievable. Prior to, you know, us beating them, they were undefeated. We lost to them in Springfield. They came to our house after losing in St. Louis, and they lost us. So the good news is our ship is sailing in the direction that we want it to go. We're going to keep the wind, you know, pushing the ship in that direction and win one more match. If we can continue this ship sailing in the direction it's going, no problem winning. If we go out there and think about the cup and all those things, might have a problem winning. So my job is to keep the team focused. We had an amazing practice today. We got a huge party tonight. Win or lose, it's been a successful season. All the castle success due to this man right here. Right here. <laughs> Murphy Jensen, thanks for your time.